Hello Sagittarius and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your first half of May tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So we've got two cards. We have number 38, Divine Guidance. Whispers from the beings who shine. Let their message be clear and kind. We have number 17, Courage. By shining brave and true and bright, my courage now returns this night. Okay, let's see what we have as an angel message for you. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? I am using the Archangel Michael deck. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians, please? We have number 27, Regain Your Focus. Trivial life matters are distracting you from your goals. Archangel Metatron and I are here to help you stay grounded. Okay, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams. Message for our lovely Sagittarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius? Oh, okay. We have the Nine of Coins. Ooh, the Ace of Swords. You're waiting to hear you. I feel that you're waiting for clarity. Waiting, I mean, this can be waiting for the right answer, uh, waiting for your own answer and making decisions, but it can also be waiting for the breakthrough, waiting for the clarity to come in, waiting for a decision, you know. Also, you could be making the decision as well and you're waiting to make your mind up. This is that regain your focus. You can see the sword is upright. So I feel something is going to happen here. We have temperance. Five of coins. Judgment. We have the Knight of Cups. The Ten of Cups. The Nine of Cups. And we have the Ten of Wands. I mean, that's lovely energy. This feels like money areas. It looks here, Sagittarius, with judgment being here, that you're going to get some kind of decision or communication coming through in the near future. Now, because I've got the Ace of Swords reversed for the first half of May, this reading might be a little bit longer than that, but it won't be far off. I feel that there's a strong energy here of, of something's brought into focus. You need to be strong for a bit longer with that courage energy. But you're absolutely being guided and assisted, and that's what you're being told here. For those of you who talk to angels and believe in angels, there's also a strong energy here in the reading that you're being watched over by angels or angels are close. So... I feel that you're waiting to see if you're going to get material success or monetary success or get what you deserve in money uh, because this could be a decision that you've been waiting for. This can be in terms of potentially a breakthrough in terms of a new job, success in terms of a new job, a business opportunity, career, uh, turning your own business around even because there can be a, an entrepreneurial flavor with the nine of pentacles as well. So it might well be that you're waiting on some important decision that will bring abundance your way. 
Now, that's very good in terms of money, business, career, whether it's your own business or whether it's getting a job or winning new business or a client and so on and so forth. It looks like a decision is pending. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. The Nine of Pentacles is a lovely energy. It's where we feel that sense of abundance. It represents material success. It's one of the wealth cards of tarot where it's enough, what you've worked to achieve you're, you're reaping the harvest, you're reaping the fruits of your labour, that's the energy here. But I feel that you're waiting to find out something. But it feels like it's pending, you know. This is going to happen, it's just that it's pending. So stay focused, I mean there's a strong energy because I'm, see I'm seeing, even with that sword here, I feel that you're being told, be, be courageous, be resolute, keep on doing what you're doing, stay the course, because there's a strong energy that it's going to lead to victory and success here. The Knight of Cups and Temperance, you know, temperance is when we, when we want that sense of balance in our own energy, in our life. Something is out of balance, and it could well be in terms of money, career, finances, it can also be, I mean, judgment can link with legal scenarios as well, contractual issues. So there could be some important judgment that you're waiting on as well. Uh, I feel this Knight of Cups is somebody who is supporting you through a difficult time. Now, if this was to do with, you know, financial loss of some kind, it might even be this person is supporting you financially. And again, this can be vice versa, you supporting them. Because again, this Ten of Cups is a very strong connected energy the love flows you know um, and there's a strong energy that someone is feeling lack within this dynamic this can be family home long-term committed relationships marriage even wider extended family so however this resonates for you here with the ten of cups there's a lot of happiness it is one of the one of the kind of like great um, happiness and fulfillment cards uh, feeling blessed and uplifted but someone is feeling lack Five of Pentacles is feeling lack on some level. I'll also say if this was to do with landlord issues where a landlord, you know, changed an agreement in some way and you felt that you had to go and find a search for another, you know, property or... Yeah, that's what I'm getting as well. This could be about getting some kind of judgment and getting the money that you deserve. You know, that could be the energy here too. Because again, there, there could be a property element to this too, but not limited to that. Either way, the message really remains the same. The Knight of Cups is somebody offering you support, encouragement, uh, support driven by love, however that is resonating for you. While you're being patient for things to fall back into balance, waiting for the decision, waiting for things to come back on an even keel... And that's what I'm seeing here, because there's a sense of lack. This can be linked with changes in employment, the Five of Pentacles. Um, it can be when we fall in our hard times. I mean, certainly with the world economy as well, and bills and energy bills, honestly, you know, we feel this, this energy comes out quite a bit at the moment. So this is the energy here also of where if you've not been paid what you deserved, that could be like a contract, a, a settlement. Um, again, this can be linked with things like inheritance, division of assets in some way, you know, however this resonates for you here, Sagittarius. This is the energy here of you felt lack. You might have been supported by family in some way. And that's what I'm getting here. It looks like there is some kind of judgment coming in that lightens the load. The Ten of Wands is where you get to the end of the process and you can release the weight, the burden. There's a great energy here of what you've been persevering on, what you've been courageously you know, pursuing and staying focused. This can be a really exhausting energy when we put all our heart and soul and passion, our desire, our energy into a particular avenue and direction but it's a weight it's a burden it's difficult and the more we're in it the heavier it feels this feels like there is a strong energy here of a weight is going to be lifted you get to liberate from the weight the burden because you reach the end of a process in some way 
And it's a process that made you feel lack. Now, this can be whether you're trying to find new employment, whether you're trying to turn your business around, whether it's a legal thing. This is the energy here, Sagittarius, of you're waiting. There's a, there's a pending decision. But it's coming in. It, the, the cards are showing in the future. That decision is coming in. The judgment is coming in. Judgment is when you get some important decision and it can be potentially you know uh it, it this decision allows you to let go of the load the burden the difficulty this decision ends a process so you make space for the new and the nine of cups is you're getting your wish that work that effort that burden that heavy energy is going to be lightened but it was worth it to get the nine of cups you're getting your wish uh, you're getting exactly what you want the nine of cups is a card of celebration joy abundance um where you're getting your wish at the end of this process so this would be stay the course stay courageous you're really being assisted i think with that divine guidance energy stay focused don't get distracted with lower vibrational energy here. This is about stay focused towards the end result. And it's interesting, I've just noticed, you know, the two and seven make nine. And we have nine, the nine of cups, wish fulfillment, and the nine of pentacles, money, business, career areas. I feel that this is about your staying focused towards an end result here. That's what, and it's going to come where, I mean, this is, you're going to get your wish, a, a judgment and a, an important decision. Like I said, that could be in terms of uh, turning a business around, getting clients, getting new business, um, legal, work-wise, job-wise. It's a decision that comes in and it helps you lighten the load. I think the clarity is coming your way. Victory. Okay, final message for Sagittarius. And it brings resolution to this. It lifts the weight, the burden, and it makes you very happy. That's the energy here with the Nine of Cups. You feel happy. Yep, new beginnings. This fairy godmother heralds the joyous news of a new baby or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Yeah. Get to lighten the load and make space for the new that's what i have for you sagittarius i hope you enjoyed your reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i wish you a wonderful first half of may i will see you next time